Hello everyone. My name is Mara and I want to spend a couple minutes reviewing the Fetch Rewards app and I want to share some thoughts on whether or not I think it's worth investing in this app in order to earn some supplemental income. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, folks, so this is what the Fetch app looks like, the Fetch Rewards app with this little doggy here. When you open it, this is what to expect. All right, so you're gonna have your homepage here and anytime you want to go ahead and capture your receipts, you're gonna go here to this little camera icon. So you have two choices. You can either snap a receipt or you can do an e-receipt. So I'll first, um, I'll show you what a snap receipt looks like momentarily, but first I want to show you what the e-receipt kind of looks like. So what you can go ahead and do is press this button and I have Fetch linked to my Amazon account. And what's great about the Fetch Rewards program is that you can link this to your Amazon account if you choose to because it can capture electronic receipts and it looks like we made some purchases so you're going to see that right now it's processing it's also going to scan your email as you see as well all right so after a few seconds fetch rewards has captured the different types of items that we purchased so you're going to go ahead and see that we purchased several different things and you have the opportunity, as you see here, to correct the receipts if something does look incorrect. So everything does look pretty good. Um, so we're going to press done for that. Those are all the Amazon purchases. Um, I haven't made any sort of email purchases, but if I did, you would have seen something similar showing whether or not the receipts I had were legitimate. So now we're going to go back. Okay, so if you're interested in scanning an actual receipt you're gonna go ahead and press the snap button so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do all right so as you see here this is from a local mom-and-pop restaurant that I went to one of the things that you're gonna want to make sure you capture no matter the size of your receipt is the business name the total and then the date of purchase so let's go ahead and press this button sorry my hands shaky Okay, so we're gonna wait for that. Okay, and do you see how all three of these items are green here? We're gonna go ahead and press the submit button. Once you see all things, all three areas are checked, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and submit that. Your receipt is uploading. Look how cute! I think that is so cute. I love doing the receipt scans because I love seeing those happy monsters. And as you see, I earned 25 points for that purchase. So I'm pretty happy about that. One important caveat about the Fetch Rewards app is that you cannot use receipts that are older than 14 calendar days. So if you've got a receipt lying around, whether around your drawers or online, that's three weeks old or a month old, you can't use it. It's not going to count. So it has to be no older than two weeks slash 14 calendar days old. So definitely keep that in mind. So here's a really interesting aspect of the Fetch Rewards app is that it also has a social media network almost like uh, if you want to connect with other people whether you're friends or strangers here you can connect with any of these folks down here personally i don't care <laughs> so it's not a feature that i benefit from but if you're into connecting with other people who are also trying to save um, money and accrue rewards points that's on you now when we press the discover button this is something that's pretty cool whenever you do capture your receipt for a reward you're going to accrue about you're going to accrue 25 points 
on average for every receipt that you do capture and that's the minimum amount of points however sometimes the brands or stores you go on will have uh, specials so to say where you can accrue more points so if we were to go to beverages here there are certain incentives that you can actually accrue more points if you purchase certain brands or certain types of products like for beverages for example or maybe grocery i do a lot of grocery shopping and I'm, i imagine a lot of you do too as well so here are some more specials so basically on top of the 25 points you might get from going to a grocery store you would earn in theory during this time duration additional points if you purchase from any of these brands so if you're looking for specific points then you have the opportunity to, to earn more points so once again you earn on average 25 points per receipt scanned but if you like to earn more definitely check out the discover section and look through some of the promotional offers that they have there so this is my account here definitely want to check out the account um, Usually General Mills has rewards. You can refer a friend. Uh, definitely if you want to get points for e-receipts, this is where you would go here to um, connect your accounts. You'd have to do it through your account page, through e-receipts. I've done it with Amazon and with Gmail. And then you can look at email supported retailers. As you see, I have earned, since downloading this app about four months ago, 11,825 points. So if I wanted to, I can go to the rewards section and look at what I can use and how I can redeem my rewards. So as you see here, one of the big categories they have are gift cards. And these are some of the gift cards that I can redeem my points for. But there are other kinds of categories as well that you can redeem your points for so you see merchandise retail sweepstakes restaurants you name it now what I'm interested in are cash cards because for me time is money and will you look at that I have earned enough points you need at least 11,500 points to redeem a $10 Visa gift card and now I have definitely met that minimum threshold so I'm thinking I do want to uh, cash in my total amount of points for a $10 Visa gift card. So I'm thinking about it, but I just want to show you what it'll look like. Definitely review the terms and conditions for any of the rewards you are considering purchasing before you commit to it. But this is what would happen. I just literally, once I accrue the points, you'll see that it highlights to a golden color. And then you just press get your, your reward. In this case, it'll be a $10 reward, $10 gift card. And then that will eventually come to me. I think I'm going to hold out and wait a little bit for the $25 Visa Rewards gift card because I want my points and my receipts to accumulate into cash. So Fetch Rewards definitely, in my opinion, has some advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages that I like about Fetch Rewards is that you can capture a diverse array of receipts. So it's not just major retail brands like Publix or Target or Amazon, but you can also do smaller local businesses and mom and pop shops and restaurants. And the other thing I do like about the Fetch Rewards program is that it does have some pretty cool like rewards, perks, incentives. A another advantage I like is that there are a lot of different types of rewards that you can accrue just from the fetch program disadvantages it takes time to accrue to a certain number of points to redeem the fetch rewards gift card it also depends on how often you're shopping if you're not shopping that often you may not be accruing that many points towards rewards and i would say another disadvantage I don't know. I actually like receiving cash, even if it's in the form of a payout payment from PayPal. And that's not something that Fetch offers. They don't offer check rewards or PayPal payments. 
Another annoying disadvantage of the Fetch Rewards program is that sometimes you can only just get the minimum 25 points even if you made a purchase that's over a couple hundred dollars sometimes it doesn't matter about how much money you purchased what really matters with fetch i'm finding is what brands you purchase with if you care about accruing a lot of points so that's definitely something you're gonna want to keep in mind and if you're outside the united states and you're trying to do a purchase outside the us or puerto rico you're out of luck and if you have a receipt that's over 15 days old, unfortunately, it's no good and you won't be able to use it for fetch rewards. And don't even try to scan the same receipt twice. In conclusion, is this app worth it in terms of earning supplemental income? Well, as you see, you can definitely earn enough points to become eligible for a Visa gift card. And while you can't actually do a direct cash payout through a platform like PayPal or get a check as of now, this is definitely a good app to redeem for gift cards. If you're into um, shopping and you like going to different restaurants or you like to support different types of retail businesses or you're just into getting credit card gift cards. So I would definitely recommend the Fetch Rewards app. But one thing to be honest with you is that it is definitely going to take time to accrue enough points to get to the point where you can have enough points depending on how, what, depending on what the value of what type of reward or gift card you are trying to purchase. If you use the Fetch Rewards app, Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below or if there's any other type of related or competitor app that captures rewards for your receipts. Definitely let me know in the comments below. Well, anyway, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and I hope that you have a wonderful day and week. Bye now, take care.